from TransferExpress.com, make sure you log in with your dealer ID and password. After you're logged in, you'll be able to access our EasyView Online Designer. So click on Start Designing in EasyView. Once the EasyView Online Designer opens, our Design Transfer Toolbox will open up, asking you where you'd like to start. You can either choose a layout from our idea book. Our idea book is customizable pre-made layouts called Easy Prints that are professionally created by our Transfer Express artists. Or you can choose an idea book clip art, which is again professionally made artwork created by our Transfer Express artists. You can upload your own custom artwork. You can resume the last session you were in. You can start from scratch or you can choose an image that you may have already saved in your library. Today we're going to start from scratch. Starting from scratch will bring us into our EasyView Online Designer. The first thing you should notice is that it is automatically set up for our standard sheet size, which is 11 and a quarter inches wide by 14 inches. Now this is set up in a landscape layout. If you would like, you can go up to Artboard and change it to a portrait size so that it's 11 and a quarter across the top and 14 down the side. Or you can revert back to landscape so that it's 14 inches across the top and 11 and a quarter inches down the side. The first thing you'll want to do is start adding either text, a clip art, or a layout. We're going to go ahead and choose Add Layout. We're going to go ahead and select Layout QYT-192. If you have our Transfer Express Idea Book or our marketing kit and you've already found a layout within there and you have the layout number, you can easily type that into the search box to pull up that specific layout. Or if you know the category that you would like to choose from, you can type that in. So if we know that we want to make a basketball transfer, we can type in basketball. And now it's going to show us our 250 different basketball layouts that you can choose from. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one. Now, once your selected layout loads into your design screen, you can now customize it with your information. So instead of Compton, we're going to change that to Kirtland. And in Kirtland, they're not the Eagles, they're the Hornets. So we're going to go ahead and select this Eagle clip art, and once it's selected, you can hit the Delete button on your keyboard, and that will remove that Eagle head. If you'd like to replace that with something else, you can go to Add Clip Art, and we know that we said they're the Hornets, so we're going to type in Hornets. You can select the Hornet that you like, and now you can either put it in the same place as before, or add it off to the side, or change the sizing of it, make it larger, make it smaller. You can do that by pulling or pushing in the triangle on the side of the clip art, or you can put it in as a specific size by clicking on it and going to the left hand side of the page under Edit Clip Art and you can type in the exact size that you want. We'd like to make this Hornet head two and a half inches wide. So we'll type in 2.5, hit Enter or click OK, and now our Hornet is 2.5 inches wide by 2.95 inches tall. As long as this little lock is closed, when you change either the width or the height, the image will stay proportional and automatically change either the width or the height, whichever one you hadn't already selected. Now we know that our hornet head is small enough to fit inside of that basketball hoop, so we're going to go ahead and put it in there. Now we want to put this on a navy blue shirt. So over here under order summary for our background color, we're going to select that and we're going to select navy blue. 
Now, we don't want black to print on navy blue, so we're going to go ahead and hit Control A, which is going to select everything on that sheet, and over on the left-hand side, we're going to change the ink color from black to gold. And now you can see what your transfer is going to look like on the intended garment color. So this will be a one color transfer in gold on a navy blue garment. Now this is going to go on youth shirts, so we don't want to have it at 11.06 inches wide overall because that's a little large for a youth size. So we're going to go ahead and remove that 11.06 and put it in at 10.5. 10 and a half inches wide is the standard youth size. We've seen how we can change the text. We've seen how we can change the clip arts. We've seen how we can change the sizing and the colors. So now we see that we have some additional space on our sheet. We encourage you to fill your sheet with as many images as you can, which we refer to as gang sheeting, so that you can then fit more images on here and get more for your money. All I've done is selected the entire image and then with the mouse being the four arrows clicking and dragging the entire image so that it stays within the sheet but now it gives us some additional room on the right hand side to add some more images. What we would like to do is add some more of these hornet heads. So I've clicked on that hornet specifically. I'm going to go up to object and I'm going to hit duplicate. And now we've duplicated that image. We just click on the duplicated image and drag it over to the side of the page so that we can have some additional images. We also want to put another basketball clip art on there. So we can click add clip art. Again, type in basketball. And now it's going to bring up the 164 different basketball clip arts that we have to offer. We want to add something to that shirt sleeve, so we're going to go ahead and select this flaming basketball clip art. That's going to add it onto the side. As you can see, it automatically defaults to a black ink color. So while that clip art is selected, we're going to go to the left hand side, edit clip art, click on the black color, and now we're going to make it gold. Now we want to make sure that that's going to fit on this page and not interfere with our already selected layout. So we're going to take the arrowed circle on the right hand side of that image and we're going to rotate our clip art so that we can now fit it in the open space on the side. It does interfere a little bit with our other hornet head, so we just go back to that hornet head, click it, and move it into the open space. These print on standard transfer paper, so they're very easy to cut apart with scissors. Now you've created your very own customizable transfer sheet with multiple images so that you can gang sheet those images, getting more for your money, and having everything on one convenient sheet for you. Before you go ahead and submit this order, what you're going to want to make sure you do is go to the right hand side of the screen and fill out your order summary information. We want to do a screen printed transfer, so we're going to select screen print for our transfer type, or as we say here, print method. We're going to go with our goof proof screen printed transfer. That's compatible with any cotton, poly, or cotton poly blend garment. We are going to put this on a 50-50 cotton poly blend, so that is going to be the fabric type. We can see here that for image quantity, we need to make 47 shirts. So instead of ordering 47, as we can see, 47 sheets would be $2.23 per sheet, but it lets us know that our next price break is at 50 sheets. So we can save $8.31 by increasing our sheet count to 50. So we're going to change 47 to 50, and now we can see that it drops down to $1.93 per sheet.
at 50 sheets, bringing our total to 9650 and giving us our ship date. You can then review your order. This will bring up your order details, which will show you what your transfer sheet will look like once you receive it, all of the information that you've added. Once everything looks good, you can go ahead and add that to your cart. Now you're ready to place your order. You can either check out, add apparel to your order, or if you have more to create, continue designing. And those are the basics of using EasyView Online Designer. At Stalls TV, we're always creating new videos and live classes to help your business stay on top in the competitive, decorated apparel world. So we don't want you to miss a thing. So click here to sign up for StallsTV.com. We'll get exclusive access to live videos, classes, and tools to help make your business more successful. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or here to view additional tips on the Stalls TV blog.